And that's the second thing we do. And we're going to take one call and we'll, we'll let you know what some of the other services are that are free. Free. This is Norm. Norm, welcome to the show. How can we help you? Good morning. Good morning. Five cars from Ray Sly over there. <laughs> All now, right. I want to, now I want to sell one. All right. All right. I'd Thank like you. to get a price on it if I can. Absolutely. We'll try it the best we can. What year model you got there, Norm? I got a 2000 Camry. 2000 right. Toyota Camry. Oh. Oh, sorry. Nobody's buying Camrys anymore. No, I'm just kidding with you, Norm. Oh, just boy. kidding with you. Uh, the Camry, is it a V6 or four-cylinder? Four-cylinder. Four-cylinder. Right. I've got it right here, Norm. We're going to start. I'm assuming it's an LE model, so it's got power windows, door locks, tilt and cruise. It's, it's, it's just the, yeah, L.A. model. Okay, the L.A. model. We're going to go 7150 is the base. They don't really add a lot of stuff, Norm. They add for leather interior and a sunroof, and I'm assuming it's just the base model with the cloth interior and no sunroof. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's got leather, but let me tell you this. It's it's the proverbial runs good, looks bad car. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not get into that I mean, right it, now. It's, yeah. it's got things all over it, all right. and, but it just runs like a clock. It's got about 170,000 miles on oh it. I want to sell it myself. Oh my goodness! Well, the book. The first I thing don't you know want, where to go. The first thing you want to do is look at the book value because if somebody goes down to the credit union, they're going to book it out, and that's what we're doing on the show right now. So we're going to still do that. Uh, we're going to still um, add a um, hundred dollars for leather, and then let's go to the mileage chart. Um, the base. Let's take a look here. The base model was seventy-one fifty, so you're at seventy-two fifty, and you said you had one hundred seventy thousand miles on it. It's a class two, so we go to the mileage chart. I'm not sure if you're going to break my mileage chart here. Yeah, Norm. you do one hundred fifty. They stop at one hundred fifty. It stops, Norm. You went over the mileage chart. All right. But let's go. Uh, class two is a five fifty deduct at one hundred fifty thousand. That's sixty. That brings down about sixty-five hundred dollars. Um, now that's the book value. Now. What you're describing is going to car is going to, if it runs really good, you're going to be able to get between three and thirty five hundred dollars for that car. The way you're describing it to me, and the wholesale dealer is going to give you a, a thousand to fifteen hundred. So you got a spread of maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars more if you retail it yourself. I would put uh, you know, I would ask forty nine ninety five, and then uh, you know take anything you can get. Anything around that three to four range is a good price. Sounds good. I'd get three. By the way, it had 16,000 miles on it when I bought it from you guys. Wow. 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 Excellent. That's a good, that's a good testimonial, Norm. You bought a car from us and put 155,000 miles on it and it's still running. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Right. I appreciate your call. Thanks for the show. The other thing we can do for Norm, uh, if he's one of these type of customers that, uh, or consumers, I should say, uh, he's a customer of ours too. If, if you don't want to sell it at your house, you don't want people coming knocking on your door, you don't want to put an ad in the news journal, you don't want to do all this. If you You'll take a car like that, bring it by Frontier Motors, and drop it off on a Monday mm -hmm. or a Friday. Mm -hmm. We have these guys; they're like uh, they're like flies. They're the wholesale guys. They want to buy these cars for these. Oh, buy that's your not pickers. very nice. Like well, no, flies? I didn't say they look like flies. They're like they, flies. They, 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 they are these guys are listening to you the got radio, swat them away. TV show right now, and you're huh? saying our wholesalers are like flies. We're going to get they're bombarded like when we get back to the dealership. No, only on Mondays and Fridays. These are the best flies you've ever seen. <laughs> very, very good flies. <laughs> you can make pets out of these flies. <laughs> but these guys like these older model cars because they take them to places and and sell. I hear pay your lots, mm -hmm. and over to Alabama, over to Louisiana, and stuff like that. You drop it off for about three or four hours. We'll get you our best buy bid from all the flies, and uh, and if you could take the highest bid, if like for Norm, if we got one bid at twelve, fourteen, fifteen, we tell them, hey, we got fifteen hundred dollars yeah. for it. Come by, they'll write you a check. You don't have to worry about people knocking on your door and worrying about it. It or, makes a lot of sense. Or if you're like Norm and you have got the time and energy, and you put it on the side of the road for thirty nine ninety five, put that extra money in your pocket. But let's assume he does that, Ron, and then two months later, nothing happens. The car's still sitting there. He's got to keep insuring the car. Yeah. You know, he's still got a tag on the car that's yeah. not for renewal. Yeah. So at that point is when we come in, you just bring us the car. Even if that's not a car we would put on our lot, we do have buyers, not flies. We have buyers that would be more than interested in giving you a bid for your car. They're like <laughs> flies, but they're buyers. Here's another instance. We had a customer the other day. Oh, his, you are and, in trouble. And, and, and since, right, of course, his father passed away. And the, the father, of course, ever, like everybody else, takes care of your own insurance and does things like that. Well, the insurance is canceled. The van sits there. They don't know what to do with it. They called us up. They brought the van over to us. We even gave them our dealer tag. They lived about a mile or two down the road. from. Uh, we gave them a dealer tag to get that vehicle down there, and they're going to trade it in. So at least they can use some of that uh, equity that he left, some of the, the value that he left. And if they don't end up trading with us, we'll do the same thing. With these buyers that hang around like flies on Mondays and Fridays, we'll get the best buy bid. I'm glad you said they hang around like flies, not call them flies. Yeah. What about, um, can we talk about our local businessman that brought his El Dorado for consignment? Yes. 
We can if we want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk about, I was leading into the consignment. I've got my consignment sheet. We have, out of 300 cars, we have about 30 of them that are on consignment. Right. And uh, we had, uh, who, who brought their car in yesterday? The gentleman that uh, has the Harley dealership here. He has sold, he sells Harley. So, Courtney. Know, we, yeah, Courtney, I don't want to know if we didn't well, ask him to use his name. I was asking if it was yeah. okay to use his name. I don't know. Who cares? It's too he already did it. Courtney brought Courtney his vehicle. And the Harley he has the most gorgeous Eldorado that I have Beautiful. ever seen. And we're to the point where we can't get a floor plan because it's a 19, it's a 2002 model. So, right. we can't put it on our floor plan. So he said, hey, Courtney, why don't you just drop it off and we'll sell it for you. He didn't want to mess around with it. He's in the motorcycle business, not in the car business. So he said, let's, let's have the experts do it. So we have this vehicle on the lot. It's an 02 Eldorado Pro White STS with 59,000 miles. And I'll, I'll bet you this could almost be on the edge of being a collector's car because that's the last year that they made that car. And what a beautiful striking automobile. Pearl White, 52,000 miles. 52, just, I'm sorry, I thought it was 55. And, and we wow. have a lot of other consignments like that. If you're a person out there, and uh, like Norm, we wouldn't take a 170,000-mile car no. on consignment. Mm -hmm. We would take a nice, clean car. But you may have, uh, you may be downsizing. Uh, we have had companies every day, every week, downsizing. A pool company brought us a truck the other day. Mm -hmm. We sold it to, for a week. We had another company, engineering company, not as doing as many uh, uh, plans and things like that, so they brought us two vehicles the other day. We're going to put those on consignment on Monday. So if you have something like this, and we have a big builder in town has uh, his BMW on consignment with us. So if you have something that you don't want to sell yourself, but you don't want to take that awful wholesale figure, <laughs> that always seems to be the lowest, we'll compromise in between uh, the, the, the retail that we're going to get and some of the wholesale to share with that. you got to leave insurance on it. The car has to be ready to go. In other words, no dents, no dings, no scratches, no problems with the car, no check engine lights. Bring it to us. We'll look at it and inspect it. If you don't know for sure if all of it qualifies, there's a couple different ways you can do it on our website. FrontierMotorsINC.com. It has all the rules for consignment, all the rules for doing that, or just bring it by. There's really not many rules, but there's things that we do, standards that we have. And then there's a small page agreement, two-page agreement between you, me, and the state of Florida, and then we put it on consignment, and we sell it for you. Hey, the fastest one we sold was one day. And some of the slowest ones we sell take sometimes 45 days. Hey, Ron, the nice thing about our consignment, too, uh, I heard this from a customer the other day. Do you guys don't charge by for consignment, do you? I says, no. I says, why do you ask that? Well, I've got my my car at another dealer's lot, and they're charging 100 bucks a month. And he says, I went to visit them. My car was in the back 40 on the gravel. It wasn't even for sale, and they've had it for two months. Now, there's no in incentive for the dealer to sell the car. If they're getting paid on a monthly basis, yeah. well, it's, 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 I would not. I would want not to sell it because if I sell it, I'm not going to get my hundred dollars anymore. So what I'm getting at, folks, is the way we figure it out is we figure what retail is, we figure what wholesale is. On consignment, you get somewhere in the middle, but it's still a good deal for you where you get more than wholesale, and we can make a little bit of money on top of that figure. But yet, it still has to be a good deal for our customers, so they don't think we're overcharging just because it's consignment. And that really happen. That really works very well for us. We don't make as much money on consignment because we're giving you some of our profit. It because we're not charging more for that car when we sell it because yeah. it's consignment. Remember, but, the easy uh, way is to buy the car. If you want to buy the car, we write you a check and you go, yeah. go bye-bye. We did that uh, We did that the other day with a... Uh, well, they, remember the, the grandmother that came one. in? Well, yeah, the grandmother came in. She bought a car for her granddaughter. You know, don't get me wrong. I think that's just, to me, and it's she sad. she took it away. Yeah, they and didn't pay it for away. it. They did something wrong. So She was a bad girl. Bad girl. And yeah. so we bought it because she doesn't want it in her yard. She doesn't want the hassle of, hey, it's still there. Can I drive it now, Granny? No. She just came to us and we sold it. Poor girl. <laughs> I hope she don't know it's over there at Frontier Motors. But anyways, <laughs> it was we buy cars. Name. It was yeah. grandma's <laughs> name. Anyways, I think the little girl got caught doing doobies or something. But anyways, <laughs> so anyways, we got the car on our lot. <laughs> Not in the car, of course. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my. <laughs> but that... Uh, Let's go to let's go to uh, service number three that we offer. <laughs> free history reports. If All you right. will need a free history report, some of the smaller dealerships over yeah. on Palafox and, and those little buy your payer lots, they don't have the ability to do the history reports because it's very expensive. Uh, some history reports actually cost thirty five bucks a piece. We have uh, uh, we subscribe to a service that does as many as we can for free. So if you need a history report on a car, call four three six eighty eighty. Four three six eighty eighty. Our salespeople, if they can't do it right then and there, they'll take down your name and number. They'll scan that ID number for you and call you back and let you know if it's a clean history report or if it has some issues. You know, there's people out there watching and listening now, going, "They say doobies." And then there's some young people out word? there. Yeah, and John, there's some is young that still people. Word, <laughs> there's I'm, a, I'm, no, there's I'm, a young, I'm going over no, 50. There's some young people <laughs> out there. There's some young people know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's some young, there's some young people going out there. Yeah, there's some young people going out What is he talking about? What is he saying? And then there's some people that are 50 that didn't know what the well, hell there's it is. there's a lot of reasons that yeah. you're, you're young and gets the car taken away. That's right, one right. of the reasons. <laughs> there's bad some other grades, things I, that you can do. And we can win bad grades. The number one reason that I get some of those cars back, Ron, is because they co-sign for the son or daughter, grandma or grandpa or whatever, sign for them. 
and the kid's not making the payments. Lost a job, didn't really end up wanting to do that, but when you lose your job, you start knocking doors, you can't find a job, guess what happens? You don't pay the car note. Well, guess what happens? It goes on mama's uh, record, so what she does is bring us the car, and then we end up selling it for her. So we can help you out. That is a service that we provide. 